Oh, Mark. Mark is not going to do that. 100%. 100%. Mark is the kind of person... If he did have a gun, which I don't know, if he did, Mark would run. My children don't know. Mark's children don't know that he's gone. We can't tell them yet because they're going to be asking questions. And I don't have the answers to it. We don't actually know what has actually happened. I suppose that is what is the most brilliant thing for us at the moment is nobody's actually come forward and told us this is what has taken place, um, whether we believe what they're saying or, or whether we don't. There should be somebody here putting my parents' mind at rest about what is actually going on. Um, like I said, the whole family's devastated. We don't want part, Mark portrayed as some kind of gangster. He's a family man, as you see from the true pictures that you'll see of him there. What do you say to the allegation that a police officer was shot at? I think it's rubbish. I think it's rubbish. I know my brother's not that sort of person. He's not stupid to, to shoot after the police. That's ridiculous. You've seen what happened last night and into the early hours of today. What do you say to anyone who seeks to go and, and create scenes like that in your brother's name? We're not condoning any kind of actions like that at all to be shown or, or for this to be taken in my brother's name. Um, I've been listening to a lot of the news today where it seems to be the press who are generally saying that it is linked to my brother. Okay, there was some questions were supposed to have been answered. They weren't answered. Therefore, there was um, uh, uh, a domino effect from that, which we don't condone at all. I mean, that up until now, they haven't come and helped them and advised them. They haven't met with any family liaison officers at all. And we were absolutely disgusted by that. So we decided that we needed to come to Tottenham Police Station because they may not be aware that a murder has been committed. Because we know that if they were aware of a murder being committed, the process, their legislation, their guidelines says they have to set up and send out an FLO. And because they didn't, we came to the station. We came to the station to have we came to the station to have a peaceful demonstration. And it was largely peaceful. And what we explained to the police was that we wanted someone senior from the police service to come and explain to us what was happening. And what did they say to that? They kept on prevaricating. The most senior person they gave us was a chief inspector. And we said that that person wasn't senior enough. We wanted a senior ranking officer of superintendent or above. Eventually, they sent for a superintendent, but by then it was too late. We had told them, don't prevaricate. We wanted to hear what was happening so we could explain to the community what was taking place. You said it was, by then it was too late, but are you suggesting that's why the violence erupted as it did? I'm telling you that had they dealt with us early in the day, we would have removed ourselves. We would have removed ourselves from this area. We would have gone back to Broadwater Farm. I specifically told a chief inspector that we didn't want to be out here when, when nightfall came. We wanted to take it back to the farm. And I warned him that if he kept on prevaricating and forced us to stay till night time, because we were intent on staying until a senior officer came, then it would have to be on the police head what happened. No matter what people want to say Mark was, when we hear you talk about the army on TV or a death that's happening in Afghanistan, it always says that you're not going to name the person until their parents have been informed. In this case here, their parents are reading about everything in the newspaper. They're seeing it all on Not the media. It. Nobody from officialdom Not has it. gone to them and said to them, your, your child was killed on Ferry Lane.